One of the congregations we have in Long Island, New York, many of those watching will be familiar with Long Island, uh, is a um, is we have a couple of uh, congregations that minister specifically to the Caribbean community, and St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Brentwood, Long Island, is one of those that has a particular uh, focus on ministering to the community from Haiti. And uh, I was ordaining uh, um, a, a wonderful man, um, uh, Jean Philzami, uh, uh, to the diaconate. Uh, he will serve the Haitian community. Um, and that, that congregation um, came into the diocese having left uh, the Episcopal Church without a building. So they've been in the process of trying to reestablish themselves. The ordination was held in a tent and um, uh, uh, 24 hours before the ordination, we had the remnants of Hurricane Zeta that went through the region and demolished the tent and turned the ground into a soggy pigsty. And those people worked so tremendously hard to get the tent re-erected, to have us there. And it was the most joyful occasion. It was the first ordination I've ever done in a tent. Hmm. And it had a wonderful missionary feel to it. And that's important, isn't it, for GAFCON, uh, for our diocese, for us as Christians, because we're a missionary movement. Yeah. We're about proclaiming the gospel yeah. and Not seeing right. lives transformed in and through the power of Jesus Christ. And so, hmm. um, you know, it wasn't a grand cathedral. It was there in a, in a very earthy environment with God's church being a wonderful visual uh, sign to the community. It certainly breaks some stereotypes, at least in America, of what an America, the Anglican would look like. Uh, and so that's yeah, it does. It does. And it, it's also a wonderful, uh, that, that portion of New York and the closer you get to New York City, obviously is very culturally diverse. And so we're ministering into that cultural diversity and wonderful to be able to empower the local leaders in that community with uh, uh, reformed Christian faith to be able to do that. Thank you.